On June 16, 2016, CERN, C-E-R-N, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, started a project to accelerate charged particles. Ten days later, photographer Christophe Suarez posted a series of photographs of the skies above CERN. Those jaw-dropping photos showed the formation of strange clouds and were proof that the biggest experiment in the world is about to tear a portal into another universe open. Up until now, we've only seen such incidents in the movies. But now, after witnessing it in reality, people are not only concerned but scared if the scientists have actually found a way to open a portal to another world. Uh, what's going to happen next? Are we going to be destroyed or meet ourselves in another dimension? But what really is of everyone's concern is the comeback of CERN. Nobody knows what secrets it holds, and today we're going to try to unravel the hidden truth about the gateway to the parallel universe. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, known by its French acronym CERN, is something that you'll hear about when there's some news about a newly discovered subatomic particle. It is the world's largest particle physics lab, and it has the biggest accelerator in the world, the LHC, or the Large Hadron Collider. The credit for being the biggest goes to its circular tunnel of nearly 17 miles, or 27 kilometers in circumference. The LHC, like all physics experiments, tries to test theoretical predictions and find whether they're flawed. It enables atoms to be smashed together with even greater power at nearly the speed of light, allowing it to recreate conditions comparable to those experienced during the universe's beginning. In 2012, a watershed moment for the LHC was the discovery of the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle. The physicists believe it's going to reveal the secrets of how the universe was created as well as validate the Big Bang Theory, which describes how an invisible, universe-wide field imparted mass to all things immediately after the bang. The discovery of the particle leads, it lends significant support to the standard model of particle physics, or the established rules of particle physics that scientists believe control the fundamental building blocks of matter. Now that they've identified the Higgs boson, scientists at the LHC have set their eyes on an even more elusive target. All around us is dark matter and dark energy. It's the invisible stuff that binds the galaxy together and makes up more than 95% of the universe. But no one has been able to directly detect it. Scientists only know it exists from the effects that it has. Astrophysicist Zen Liu at the University of Minnesota told the Daily Galaxy in an email that the Higgs boson, a critical component of the standard model, could play the role of the portal between the luminous world and the dark world. Theorists believe that there is one type of dark particle that only interacts with the normal matter on rare occasions. Researchers believe that this particle can get caught up in the proton collisions that the LHC is continually making and monitoring. Liu is of the view that we might be able to directly detect the decay or the transitions between distinct states of particles that exists in the dark realm, if that only if we use quantum mechanical coupling, though. Even better, we would be able to directly make dark world particles and identify them using our great control of Higgs boson production at the Large Hadron Collider or in future colliders as well. Recently, a group of scientists announced that they believe they can explain dark matter using a particle that, according to them, can travel to the fifth dimension. Scientists in a research published in the European Physical Journal C claim that the particle can shed light on dark matter. According to the latest research, 5D equations have been created that indicate the ramifications of an extra dimension in our universe and reality as we know it. The researchers looked at fermion masses, which they believe can be transferred into the fifth dimension via portals, resulting in dark matter relics and the fermionic dark matter in the fifth novel dimension. According to the researchers, if this heavy particle exists, it would necessarily connect the visible matter that we know and that we have studied in detail with the constituents of dark matter. Assuming the dark matter is composed of fundamental fermions, which live in the extra dimension, Liu also exclaimed, I cannot imagine how breathtaking the world would be when we master and control luminous matter and dark matter. But for the particle to be discovered, a lot more energy is required than the LHC that discovered the Higgs. To get to the mark, scientists have spent 21 billion pounds. The LHC was shut down in December 2018 to allow for upgrade work to take place. 
The Large Hadron Collider was stopped for two years in order to make major improvements to the system. After the improvements, the Large Hadron Collider reopened in April this year, and it's ramping up for a third run to study new worlds of physics. This is going to be the most powerful version of it yet. A support manager of the project said, Run 3 is exciting for me not only because it will give us more data at higher collision energies, which we always love, but also because the detector is the best it's ever been. Now, the trap is all set for the particle to be caught at any time. Lian Tao Wang, a professor at the Enrico Fermi Institute and the Kavli Institute for Cosmological Physics at the University of Chicago, said, If the particle is there, we just have to find a way to dig it out. Usually the key is finding the right question to ask. This was about the happy part, and now the conspiracies begin. As the LHC began to run again on April 22nd, wild rumors began to circulate that CERN was opening a portal to hell in the quest of the god particle. This is not the first time scientists have come across such a thing. Remember the incident of 2016? Those photographs revealed an unusual cloud formation and electrical activity above the CERN facility. The strange clouds sparked a media frenzy regarding portals in the sky. Given that the LHC has found small black holes when smashing particles, which could suggest parallel universes and extra dimensions, what we previously saw could turn into a storm now that the CERN is even more powerful than before. Stephen Hawking, a renowned scientist, also warned us about the God Particle. He even bet Gordon Cain $100 that physicists couldn't discover the Higgs boson, but when they did, Hawking issued a stern warning. In his famous book, Starmus, the scientist claimed that the particle could one day be responsible for the destruction of the known universe. He wrote, The Higgs potential has the worrisome feature that it might become mega-stable at energies above 100 billion giga-electron volts. Here, the biggest concern about the destruction is the formation of small black holes that would expand and eventually decompose the world from within. Despite CERN scientists' assurances that these black holes would not destroy the universe, British astronomer Sir Martin Rees agrees with Hawking that they could open a Pandora's box, unleashing high-energy strange matter that is extremely unstable and causing a catastrophic vacuum decay that would cause time and space itself to collapse. Hawking warned that this could happen at any time and we wouldn't see it coming. Although such a catastrophe is unlikely in the near future, Hawking believes the risks of the Higgs becoming destabilized at high energy is too large to ignore. Scientists believe such particles could play a game-changing role in the cosmic history of the universe, producing gravitational waves of such amplitude that further gravitational wave detectors could hunt for them. For now, we don't know when the particle will be discovered, but everyone's in search of it. To get the answers, LHC will run for two years. When Run 3 comes to an end in 2024, CERN scientists will shut it down for another scheduled renovation, which will include more upgrades for the giant particle accelerator. When the renovations are finished, scientists will be able to rename the LHC the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider when it reopens in 2028. The next generation of Higgs factories, for example, will be entirely focused on examining the fascinating possibilities centered around the Higgs Gateway. The International Linear Collider, the ILC, under consideration in Japan, and the Compact Linear Collider, the CLIC, at CERN, are two linear Higgs factories, whereas the Future Circular Collider, FCC, at CERN, and the Circular Electron Positron Collider, the CEPC, in China, are two circular Higgs factories. The particle smasher in China will be five times more powerful than the LHC at CERN. As Europe and China rush to find the God Particle, it might not be long until the world learns who is at the end of the quest, the universe's creator or destroyer. What do you think about this portal to another dimension? Who are we going to meet on the other end? Let us know in the comment section below.